welcome back to Conan Exiles. Um, so this episode, I think what we're going to do is do some base building and actually get this place finished off. And, uh, and then we're going to move. <laughs> we're going to leave this place. Um, no, actually, I, would, I just noticed that I think we're getting a purge pretty soon. I think it only has to reach this line and then we have a chance to get a purge. I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Um, oh, that's right. Um, at the end of the last episode, I unlocked... Hardened Steel Daggers. So that means we can repair the ones we currently have and put the upgrade on them. So let's do that. Oh, actually, when we... No, that's right. We couldn't do an exceptional version of them. No. All right, so what do we got? 37 as opposed to our 33. Yeah, it's, that's a decent upgrade. I've upgraded for less, that's for sure. And realistically, we didn't even build those daggers. I found them. Found them on the on a corpse. <laughs> Alright, looking good. Get out of here, putrid meat. Okay, how's the spoil rate on that going? Good. Uh, I guess that's that's a perk of this being single player. Is that if I if I log off, it's not continuing continuing to tick down. Um, everything's looking pretty good around the base. Uh, oh shit! Uh, another thing we unlocked was master blacksmith, which gives us the improved furnace and the improved blacksmith bench. So let's build that. Okay, you get back to work. So, all of that needs to go back in there. I think that's everything. Yeah. And that doesn't unlock anything else, does it? Don't think it does. I wonder what the improved one does. Does it just speed it up or something? Or maybe it only... Um, hmm. Because we've only got a level 3 blacksmith, so maybe it only takes effect when you have a named thrall. Alright, so time to finish this place off. So, to do that, I'm going to need a shitload of stone, aren't I? Definitely got enough wood, don't need to worry about that. Okay, well, let me, let me do that. I'll go on a stone run. And I'm going to take Leon with me because he can carry a lot of shit. All right, I think that's going to do it. Lean's chockers. <laughs> he's, he's got fucking 20,000 stone on him. All right, let's go back. It really annoys me that um, all the building stuff is in your inventory. Like, there's no crafting bench for building supplies, which I would really like. I would love to avoid having to do this. I don't mind all the benches and stuff being in here. But, yeah, having all of these different building materials is a nightmare. Um, okay, so there's a couple of different 
ways we can go with the roof. We can do the thatch roof. We can do the tiled, sloped, insulated roof. Or we can just do a wooden, sloped roof. That takes shaped wood and iron reinforcement. This takes insulated wood and iron reinforcement. I think these look nicer. These are going to be a very similar color to the sandstone that we already have. But this will be a nice contrast. So let's grab some iron reinforcements and some in insulated wood. Okay, well I know I know how I want this bridge section to look. I want it to be lower than the rest of it. So um yeah, we want a couple of these, I think. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Um, this is going to be a real challenge, to be honest. I've made this very difficult for myself. So I kind of wanted it to slope inwards, but this middle section is raised up. Um, so I might just have some sloped walls going up there. Actually, that's not going to work. Because we only need to go up one. And we've got a space of two there. Yeah, we want that one there. And then another one. Okay. So, ideally, I wanted that there, but I want a piece that would join those two sections together. But it doesn't look like we have one of those. Uh, to be honest, no one's, no one's going to see this. No one's going to see that gap there. We'll just leave it. Although, all of you know about it now. And I know about it. Shit. Okay, so are you going to let me put this in here without a ceiling there? You're not. Um, alright, I got an idea. Is this like arc where we can put a temporary a temporary stru structure in place? So if we put that in and then a ceiling there, place this piece and in arc, arc would use these as support now that it's there. And we'd be able to remove that. But, yeah, of course, Conan's not going to work like that. Okay. So, we'll have to leave the ceiling there to hold that in place. Unfortunately. Unless... Unless it could attach to one of these... Seeing as we're going to go up higher anyway. Nope. Not enough resources. 
ran out of iron reinforcements. I have a feeling we're going to need a lot more of these. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. There you go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we've got to finish this off. Um, shit, what are we going to do there? Do we have a corner piece? We have a cap. That's... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. Okay. Looks a little unconventional. Quite weird. But also kind of cool. Now, did we want to have the roof continue around this way? On the outside of this place. No, it's not going to match up um, because we've sunken in the wall here and then started the slope. So if we wrap that around, it's going to end up here. And if we extend it out to here, we're going to have a flat top there and it's going to look weird. I think we'll just leave it like this. All right. Well, that's um, that's this section done. Although I can't see much point in having a doorway there. So let's cover that up. And yeah, let's cover that one up. That's better. Looks kind of cool, but also very weird. All right, next area. Also a challenging shape, but I'm sure we can manage. Okay, so that is a straight section. Then we've got two triangles. Yep, two triangles. That will also be a square. And then we've got two triangles again. Yep, and then it's going to do a weird thing. Um, this section here is the section that's going to continue up.
Um, there's going to be a flat ceiling there. That needs to be. But we can do a window there. That should be fine. And then that's a square. So a square there. Um, and then it's probably... No, it's not going to be there. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, let's grab our wedges. Um... Yeah, that goes there. Then we're gonna have to do a slope there. Yep, like that. Okay, cool. So that's the that's the hole in the ceiling. Then we're gonna place walls on top of there. That looks good. Okay. Perfect. I think I feel like this one was easier than last. I think this looks a little bit nicer too. Very unique. Ah, oh, we need to finish it though. <laughs> yeah, we're going to continue on with this. Um, so we're going to need a corner piece here. I think that's right. Yeah, that's it. And then, um, one of those there. And we're going to need one more sloped wall. That's right. Oh, we won't be able to stand up here. You can't stand on the wedge. On the wedges for some reason. You can stand on the square sections all right cool well at least it's got a roof on it now and it it's kind of looks like it's complete i'm happy with that 
Um, last thing I want to do is maybe put some torches in here or um, we might try out those new lanterns. Where do we make those? Just put these around the joint. They don't seem to light up a very large area. Need a couple more, I think, which I am going to need wood for. But luckily, we have an absolute shit ton of wood. Yeah, they're kind of weak for a light source, aren't they? I know, it's, it's hard to tell because it is during the day. Oh, I totally forgot. I need lights down here, don't I? Let's try one of those um, hanging braziers. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what they're like. Okay, the lamplighter does walk around and turns the, the lamps on and off. Yeah, that lights up the entire area. It's actually pretty good. Let's put the other one over here. Get rid of these torches. Yeah, it's good. Dump that putrid meat. Alright, cool. Base is done. Let's have a look. Whoa, I don't know what's going on there. It looks weird. Very weird. Yeah, it's good contrast though. I'm, I'm glad I went with that style of roof. I think it would have blended in too much with the other one. Actually, this might have looked um, nice if I didn't overhang with the roof. So it actually came out a little bit further. Although I'm not sure how I would have handled it coming around this side, so... Maybe this was the, the right way to go about it. Alright, cool. Um, now the next base we build is going to be out of, I think, this stuff. Reinforced stone. So let's unlock that. That's pretty. Contemplating getting... A couple of the DLCs. All the Aquilonian set. That looks really nice. All fancy looking. That sort of has like a Japanese feel to it. Or some sort of Asian sort of styling to it. Mm, cool. Um, so we didn't get a level by doing all that, but that's fine. Uh, and we didn't get our purge. I, th I really thought we were going to get a purge. It didn't even fucking move. Definitely not enough building going on. Um, Alright, so next episode. What are we going to do? Let's go get a drink before we, before we die. We really need uh, a better armorer. Because I don't think our weapons are letting us down. I think it's our armor. In between episodes, I'm going to farm Sempermaru. See if I can get a decent armorer. And then I'm going to come up here. But I might do this on camera. This might be a bit, little bit more exciting. Running back and forth between the camps for a little bit. Seeing if we can get that blacksmith. 
All right, cool. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to lead your targets. I'll see you next time.